Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went to the district of Tyre and Sidon, and a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not answer her at all, and his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. Jesus answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's liturgy, as I mentioned at the beginning, is a memorial mass for the repose of the soul of Father Owen Joseph Carroll, a priest of this Ottawa Cornwall Diocese, who exercised all his priestly ministry in the Oakland Diocese in California. Born in Ottawa on August 12, 1930, and educated here, Father Owen was close to his family and wished to be buried in the family plot in Notre Dame Cemetery. The interment of his remains will take place following the Mass. On this occasion, on behalf of Archbishop Danfus, Bishop of the Archdiocese here, of Bishop Michael Barber of Oakland, and in my own name, as well as the name of Father Jacques Cabangu, the rector of the cathedral, and Kevin Burgess, the associate pastor, and Father Monsignor Robert Latour, who has joined us here today, I offer my condolences, our condolences, to his niece Catherine and to her children Oscar and Olivia, as well as others who are here present from the family and all who grieve his passing. Realizing that his vocation to serve God's people lay not in the life of a Carthusian, as he had initially believed, Father Owen approached Archbishop Joseph Aurel Plourd for priestly ordination that took place here in this cathedral on January the 12th, 1973, the Archbishop's birthday. Father Owen's priesthood would not be realized in the manner of a diocesan parish priest, but instead would be lived out exceptionally in the teaching of sacred disciplines, philosophy and theology and the world religions, and by gathering the faithful for the Eucharist in both the Latin and Maronite rites. I had the privilege of meeting Father Owen twice in June of 2013, when we celebrated belatedly his 40th anniversary of priesthood in January of 2023, last year, when we marked his golden jubilee. This January, while I was in Oakland, we could not meet because of an outbreak of COVID at the Mercy Center where he resided, but we did exchange greetings on the phone. On each of our meetings, I was struck by his energy, his charm, his simplicity, all qualities of a true man of God. The scriptures that we have heard as we gather to commend Father Owen Joseph Carroll to the Lord Jesus for entry into the Father's house, an entry which he longed for, especially in his latter days. God's word presents us with the depiction of the Lord Jesus engaged in his own version of the Socratic method, getting to the truth of what faith is, as a good teacher would, as Father Owen would, by bantering with a Syrophoenician woman. 
She comes to faith in him and receives the unexpected gift of her child's healing. You see, the outsider gets God to modify the pattern of salvation by which Gentiles would be admitted to the faith community only after Pentecost. It gets advanced through the women's act of faith in Christ, just as the hour of Jesus gets advanced at the wedding feast of Cana through the faith of the Blessed Virgin Mary. God, you see, is not bound by even his own plans. He is the God of surprising developments. The text from Jeremiah about the first reading in the psalm, which we're actually not read, but which I prepared, <laughs> speak to our sense of loss today, so I'm going to quote them. They anticipate the prophet's proclamation of the new covenant in the spirit that God would write on each human heart, which we did hear. His words, though, before that, address us today. Jeremiah says, The ransom, the redeemed of Israel, the nation shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord. A bit like Jesus' face was yesterday in the transfiguration mystery. The young men and the old shall be merry. God says, I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness with sorrow. Aren't these comforting words for us today as we grieve the passing of a friend, an uncle, a brother priest? And so in conclusion, we pray eternal rest unto Owen Joseph Carroll, your priest, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen.